Hello lovely people, let's measure another amplifier. So I am kind of measuring all the amplifiers that I have and if you haven't seen, watch my previous video where I tested this XA70F by Alpine and now, so that is a 4 channel version and this is a 5 channel version uh, XA90V so it has 4 channels for like highs and one a subwoofer channel now the power ratings we're gonna see them from the measurements and again I'm not gonna go into any of the details if you want the details you can watch the previous video with this one because I covered why I'm using this what I have here now these two amplifiers they are kind of the same the insides are almost identical so Sam uh, from Bear Vids did like the all the internals video I'm gonna try to link it in the video description so you can watch that where he said that the internals of these two and the monoblock uh, they're the same they have the same power supply the same output fits and everything and everything is kind of the same the only kind of concern for this amplifier is that the power supply that is in this amplifier, it feeds basically all the channels, so the subwoofer channel and four other channels. Now, if you would want like an ideal amplifier, probably you would have to have like two power supplies, one for the four channel and one for a monoblock, but since it's sharing one, ch one power supply, I'm wondering how is that gonna affect? However, the downside to this is <clears throat> my load bank has only four channels. I can load only four channels. So I cannot load five, you know, the amplifier especially. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, kind of two tests. One, on one, I'm going to load only four channels uh, that do like what? What they do, like 90 watts or something like that? I'm not sure. And I'm going to test only those because in my car, most likely, I'm not going to use the monoblock channel. I'm going to use only these four channels. So we will see. And then after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these four channels in bridged mode plus this one. So with this, my load bank, I can use two for the bridged one two three four and another two in parallel is going to give me two ohm load uh for the subwoofer channel and i'm going to load the amplifier properly i have the juice i have the power supply it's not an issue at all i'm going to load it fully and then we're going to see how bridged uh amplifier is gonna measure comparatively with unbridged and like fully loaded with not loaded if there's gonna be any difference now i don't doubt that these power supplies in these amplifiers are like overkill for the power that they're doing and they're gonna manage everything with no issues no problem whatsoever but it's gonna be interesting to see and uh, probably more important is how much the subwoofer channel is gonna do so it's rated 350 watt something or 500 into 2 ohms but we will see and again this test is not an amp dyno we don't care about the maximum power until clipping or whatever we actually care about how these amplifiers measure thd and everything else okay so i encountered another problem and the problem is exactly the same as i had with the dsp amplifiers so the problem is with bridging when you bridge because the subwoofer amplifier i would imagine it's like internally bridged and when you bridge it you have a floating ground shut up you have a floating ground and positive and negative and with this i just have a regular normal probe which is not differential and that is the problem so i have schematic somebody uh on via email helped me quite a lot with the actual setup and how to measure stuff and they gave me a schematic of how to do like a proper probe so i need a three pin connector or an xlr connector and uh with do two caps to filter dc and then uh three resistors so i didn't have any time yet to sort out that connection but for now so i didn't measure the amplifier the four normal channels and i cannot measure the subwoofer and this is the thing so for now i'm gonna leave it as it is i'm just gonna check check uh, uh just four ohms because two ohms kind of pointless because i did 
2 ohms versus 4 ohms on the other one and this amplifier is not going to be run on 2 ohms anyway so for me personally this test is going to be for me because i'm interested only in those four channels how they perform because they're going to be for mid-range and for the tweeter and i have all the measurements and yeah um, i'm going to leave the subwoof amplifiers for later time when i will uh, sort out this bloody probe and then probably I'm going to do some measurements where we're going to compare the distortion on normal mode versus bridged mode. Because I cannot test bridged mode at the moment. So without any further ado, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to jump straight into the measurements. So I imagine this is going to be a quick one because <laughs> in theory, these amplifiers should measure identical. The five channel and the four channel because... As again, as Sam uh, did the video about internals, the internals are identical. The only difference is the power output. And again, we are concerned only about the four channels. So we should have into four ohms, 75 watts. And we have, okay, let's change to percentage. 1% here, 72 watts. Yeah, again, exactly the same just because of the lower voltage if i would have a uh, higher voltage it would be more than 75. let's check another thing which is this one uh thd into 10 watts we have below 0 0.02 let's check 10 watts below 0 0.02 spot on amazing stuff now let's very quickly compare this with a bigger brother almost identical yeah we can see the output is different that's obvious yeah the bigger brother does more power but we have what do we have here the lowest on the big brother 76.4 and this one does 74.7 so that's less than 2 db difference so i would call it identical even if it is 2 db difference it measures 2 db less it has a bit more distortion 2 db but uh with my measure equipment equipment and everything i would say it's identical now the difference that i can see is uh so the bigger brother you can see this dip the knee is between 10 and 20 for this one it's in lower wattages as well so again this amplifier is ideal to use with tweeters and mid-range that would use maybe up to 10 or 15 watts see because up to 15 watts it's the cleanest so this is for tweeters and mid-ranges amazing now this one it can do a bit more power so the bigger brother is for the mid bass but yeah and uh, remember we're talking about harmonics third one is below and second one yeah so we have exactly the same uh harmonics profile characteristics exactly the same as the big brother now let's have a look at frequency dependency Pff, identical flat line yeah and even lower because you see on the big brother we have these harmonics minus 80 and this is even lower than that harmonics so yeah lower harmonics but thd is super super flat multi-tone again it doesn't show me much but on a, up to 10 watts super clean up to 7 watts mega clean let's have a look at the linearity how linear is a frequency response i would imagine it's going to be exactly the same as the big brother but let's have a look yeah we have exactly the same we have well 0 0.6 drop at 20k and all the way up to 40 something so high res plays everything all the way up no issues whatsoever super super flat now let's have a look at the one kilohertz tone and so this is different channels but on this one uh -huh, uh -huh, interesting so we see different channels have slightly different profile for harmonics like channel two second one is the highest channel three second one is the highest third one is low 
channel one, the both of them are the same, and channel four, the third harmonic is prominent. Wow, okay, so this is different. So we have slightly different uh, harmonics profile in between the channels. However, all of these harmonics, as you can see, let's choose dbr, they're 80 dB and below, so inaudible. But yeah, the biggest difference is in third and fourth harmonic, which varies between channels. So they're not really identical. Actually, I didn't check really on this one. Three. Uh -huh, yeah, so exactly the same we have on this one as well. Yeah, on the Big Brother is exactly the same. So when I will be choosing uh, channels, what I need to do is do the cheeky one. So channel two and channel one and two has the lowest third harmonic. No, two and three. There we go, two and three. So two and three has the lowest third harmonic. So two and three, I'm going to choose for the tweeters and one and four for the mid-ranges. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna make any difference, but you know, it's like, eh, why not? Yeah, we can do that. Multitone, again, identical to the Big Brother, no differences whatsoever. So yeah, uh, this is um, not surprising at all. We have literally identical performance compared to the Big Brother. The only difference is the power output. And this is exactly what we expect. There should be no differences between the same line amplifiers, especially with a harmonics profile. And this is exactly what we measure and exactly what we see. Again, it will be very interesting to AB compare two different amplifiers, and I might do that in the future. But for now, just the measurements. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.